My buddy called this the Pontiac Aztec on hatchbacks, which I don't agree with. I think it looks like something straight out of the Fast and Furious films. Going from concept car to actually making it look like this for the production run, that takes balls, no? If you look at something like the Seat Leon Cooper, that has 290 horse, but doesn't really look like 290 horse. This has 310 horse, and it looks like a spaceship. I like how it has this attitude with the scoops, the big fenders, and that wing. Will you look at that wing? the best thing about the interior are the seats. For a factory seat and a Honda hatchback, this is about as race car as it's gonna get. <laughs> Thumbs up, Honda. The materials they use are very good. Everything feels well put together. I do have to say the stereo is just a bit not great. This, of course, is the first turbo type R, and people are quite interested in knowing whether it feels like one of those special VTEC motors still. Which, uh, nope, it does not. So with the motor, it no longer is go on the throttle and then nothing, nothing, nothing. VTEC just kicked in, yo! So it no longer feels like an NA motor, it no longer gives you that VTEC moment, which I understand is gonna upset some people, but at the same time, you're trading what essentially would be a two liter 220 horse motor for a two liter 310 horsepower motor. Honda fanboys, please don't come with the pitchforks and the torches and everything like that. But I do have to say I'm taking the extra horsepower over VTEC any day of the week, especially because it's a two liter motor. Honda uses trick suspension in the front, which is uh, similar to the setups you get from a GM car. They call it Hyperstrut. Ford calls it Revo Knuckle, and Renault calls it ISAS. They separate the steering knuckle from the rest of the suspension strut, so they can move independently from one another. Well, anyways, acronyms and, and, and fancy names aside, in the Honda it all translates to I don't really feel any torque steer. I don't know how it's going to react on the stickier, much, much stickier Sport Contact 6 tires that have been developed by Continental specifically for this car. Because once you start getting this tremendous front end grip, things could change quite significantly. In our mode, things get quite a bit more focused. <laughs> Let's call it focused. Yeah, I mean, like that, that's our mode. You get very flat cornering. But I feel like because the dampers get so much stiffer, you also have more excitement going through corners which isn't necessarily going to translate to higher cornering speeds, <laughs> but it does translate to more fun. <laughs> On the Autobahn though, when you're going to hit speeds in excess of 250, the slightest imperfection in the road is going to actually make you lose traction at points, which if you leave it in just normal mode, is not going to be an issue ever. You can always feel just a little bit of rotation coming from the back end of the Civic, which is very nice. It isn't um, like this jerk in the back end around. It doesn't do that. Oof, that is slippery. 
but the back end would come around just a little bit to uh, make it less understeery, and that's very nice. But that was seriously slippery. When you talk to Honda owners, what they talk about most of the time is obviously VTEC, but they also make a very big deal about Honda gearboxes. It's a 40 millimeter throw, and I do have to agree, the gearbox is a very special thing. Shifting feels very, very good. Because of the very narrow gas pedal, it is not very easy to heel and toe at all. You have to have a very significant rotation on the ball of your foot. And I, I, I wear 11s. I mean, not everybody's got big foot feet, do they? Whenever you go through a corner, you can feel the diff. Yes! It pulls you into the corner so nicely. And that is just what I like so much about the limited slip differentials. The sport monitor on top of the dashboard is going to be awesome when you run your helmet camera on track because you're going to be able to see if you were smooth with the brakes, with the accelerator, and you see your speedometer very clearly. That means you can always check out the reference points, whether you were faster or slower. That is going to be tremendous fun coming home from a racetrack session. You see there's a pattern here, right? This car is going to be absolutely amazing as a track car. I want to go to the racetrack, come on! Freaking winter tires. When it comes to Nürburgring records, obviously I like when manufacturers just go ahead and do that. Ultimately, I don't much care whether this car can actually replicate the 750 time. It should get fairly close. But the point is, the hardware the car comes with is ready for the track. And that is important. That to me is the most important thing. Oh, you just have to like the shift lights on the dashboard. <laughs> Those are just super useful and they look so cool it, it gives you sort of this race car vibe <laughs> as do the brakes as do the brakes <laughs> and the differential <laughs> I had no idea these things were that fast. I agree. Uh, wasn't that cool? 270? Are you kidding me? It's 310 horse though, man. But it took me some time to get it to actually do 270. That's why I kind of went, yeah, finally. Yeah, like, well, and I loved, we're on, we're on 269 for the longest <laughs> time and finally it just ticks over. We all go, yay! <laughs> but still, that's amazing. Now, I want to clarify, this is not the Type R we keep talking about in the U.S. that's about to be here not for the first the brand time. New one, not this the latest, is the greatest. one prior, right? Yes, um, which is still on the Honda DE website, by the way, but it's the ninth generation. But from what I understand, the new one is going to be fairly similar because you have, uh, you go from 310 to 320 horse. I'm glad you liked it so much, but I'm actually curious about it compared to some of the other competitors you talked about. I mean, you mentioned right up front, you mentioned the Say at Leon, which of course is the front wheel drive Golf R in many ways, almost 300 yeah. horsepower. So it's got a lot of the recipe of this car. How would you compare them? More excitement in the Honda, definitely. Um, the rear end of the, of the Honda is something a bit special. It just seems far more frantic. Uh, yes, yeah. definitely, seems... definitely. Does this do that Fiesta ST thing where it, you can get lift off throttle oversteer, does it do that? It probably would. Um, the weather conditions I drove the car in, I wasn't about to try. It's sort of similar in terms of how the, the uh, differential reacts in uh, comparison to the Peugeot 308. Where does this fall in your list now? I mean, there's a few more to drive, yeah. a few more coming, there's new models of course, but where do you think the Honda is falling? It's gonna be pretty high up. Now I have to say I love the Fiesta just because uh, it's a very affordable car. It's a fantastic road car. Because on the road, I don't, I don't really need the power. It's nice to have and it's a lot of fun. 
Well, it's good to hear how, how well this holds up. I mean, I agree with you. It does have a spaceship look about it. It's one of those cars I always oh, wish we got. You know, it's just, I can't believe we didn't. I'm glad you drove it. This is exactly the kind of stuff we need you driving because we're living vicariously through you, which is fantastic. Exactly. So I'm, I'm curious about the standard question about what's, what's next? What else do you have coming up? Um, yeah, next up, actually, we, we did like a thing in, in Germany, in Belgium, the Skoda. Yeah, that's coming up next. We did next. do a thing. It'll be a, a unique piece because it's it's the first time all three of yeah. us have been all intercut three. all driving the same it's gonna car. Be different. It's going to be a very different piece. I'm excited about that. You're going to hear just a little bit from each of us. I know, I know. It's just, <laughs> just going to be, tiny if we can make a three minute version, it'll be like one comment for each of us. But we're not going to do that. Well, as always, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for doing a car that we just can't get so that we can actually get it on, on camera. And you shot this one really well. So thank you, man. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Laters.